Welcome back, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're going to look at an icon of a shoe. Um, as Goodyear welted shoes go, um, at the top of the house from a design perspective is this really cool um, uh, Bautier uh, or Maison in France uh, called Corthé. And uh, Corthé, uh, which is founded by Pierre Corthé, um, is a really beautiful design. They just have great lines. Um, they are Goodyear welted. They have really interesting stitch patterns and not a lot of stitching. You know, the way they put these shoes together, there's a vamp, there's the heel pieces, there's the seam in the back, and that's it. You know, they close the channels here. It looks blind stitched actually, not closed. There's a moderately narrow, but not obsessively narrow waist. Uh, there is no real bevel, there is no real fiddle. They have their own design here in the, in the rubber. It's a very large rubber in a combination heel. And um, they, everything is finished beautifully, but very stoically also. They do have some very nice fudging. You know, they, uh, they do have some pretty tight stitch density, which we'll look at in a moment. But it's a, this is a plain shoe, right? If you think about, and this is, um, I bought these uh, from Bergdorf Goodman. They were able to have them in these brown suede with the brown piping, which I like. Um, I've seen this with uh, contrast piping, and then I've seen this in tremendous color. Um, you know, following the French tradition of patina uh, in your bright greens, your bright reds, your purples, your, your blues, and all kinds of just wonderful colors that, you know, Corthé has really built their reputation on, on developing is beautiful, beautiful shoes. Now, I happen to collect a lot of, of shoes in this color suede. And um, of the suede that I own, this is among the best. Um, it's, uh, it's a very low pile, uh, what feels like uh, Janus, does not feel like it was split, um, has a uh, resilience to it, which is really good. You can never, you cannot tell that I've worn these at all, and I have, and it is quite tight. This is a narrow size. They actually use American sizing, which is confusing because they're a European company. I expected them to use European sizes on the Pointe de Paris um, uh, um, scale. But they don't, and um, so after much research, um, an 11D, which is what the size was on these, is actually a, um, uh, an 11C in the US. So, um, but um, I took the chance on it. I normally wear between a 10 and a half and 11D. And uh, so if it's a 10 and a half, that kind of equates to an 11C. And uh, they, um, they fit beautifully. Um, tight, but not uncomfortably so. And obviously this is uh, really a, a, a great way of um, showcasing the last of the shoe because it is, the last on this shoe is, is everything. This design is just incredible for its plainness. Now, um, Corthé, of course, is also, um, you know, this is a made in France by French people with French material. So they are using French leathers, they're using French wood in the trees. I'm sure even the laces are sourced in France, the soles are sourced in France, everything is. And they do a wonderful job with it. Uh, but for the price, um, they are quite pricey. Um, and um, really stand as a fashion brand more than what I would say most of shoe aficionados would say, like a, a high quality shoe brand. And that's not because they're not high quality, uh, but it's because the price is significantly higher than um, what I would consider to be your standard good quality shoes. Uh, so these are these run seventeen hundred dollars, um, which is a lot for a pair of shoes. And uh, I wanted to try them out. I wanted to try something that was a little bit more subtle uh, before I, you know, try a louder color from them. Uh, but I do think that uh, the quality of this, um, the hand lasted, the, the, 
the the way that they feel is incredible. And even though for a Goodyear welted shoe, I mean, the only thing that I have that's in the same market is gonna be an Edward Green. And only then for the Edward Greens with, um, you know, this beautiful intricate stitching on the apron um, that is, uh, you know, an additional, you know, 400 bucks for Edward Greens. Um, here I'm paying for that right off the bat. So it is an investment piece, but it is a beautiful, beautiful shoe. So, uh, you know, if I if I do decide to continue with my uh, Corthe journey, um, it is going to be uh, just because they are so beautiful and lovely to wear. Now, as I look at the upper, um, you know, the stitch density, there's not a lot of stitching here that really requires a lot of density in order for it to be functional, uh, but they're at five um, on the, uh, on the upper, they are at one, two, they're at four on the sole, which is quite good, uh, especially for Goodyear welted. And, uh, you know, they have, uh, again, these beautiful trees, um, which is, you know, made in France, not carved out, but they did hollow that one piece, but it is a, uh, a lovely tree. It obviously matches the, the last directly. And, um, you know, the, the lining leather on this is as beautiful as the exterior leather. And, uh, you know, the, the way that they combine this seam on the inside, you can barely feel. And that is part of what makes the whole shoe kind of fit like a hole cut on the inside, which just adds to to the joy of wearing it so um you know i can't i can't over speak on that it um this is a fun shoe to wear it just feels great and uh you know that by itself is a great reason to own this shoe so uh very expensive but uh but definitely a very high value shoe with beautiful uh, materials and uh unquestionable quality so uh, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Let me know what your th thoughts are about Corthe uh, in the comments below.